this is where we're fishing today. Right here, guys. This is, no, I'm just kidding. Behind me here is one of the most famous rivers in the entire world. <laughs> I don't know about that, but it might actually be. Behind me here is the Columbia River. I am in North Bonneville, Washington, and today we are going shad fishing. And we're not only just going shad fishing, but we are doing something uh, pretty exciting. We're doing a little bit of a challenge. Today we're going to be clashing heads with the two most common shad fishing lures. One being the shad dart, and two being the little crappie jig grub uh, looking combo that I'll show you guys when we get down there. I'm super excited. I just drove five hours, which was super tiring. There was so much traffic coming down from Seattle and I am finally here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's just fishermen all along the bank there. As far as the eye could see, this is clearly a very popular activity this time of year. This is super special. This only happens once every year, pretty much one month of the entire year, the month of June, the shad come into the Columbia River, which I think are invasive species for the Columbia River. I'm not entirely sure. You guys can fact check me on that one, but super exciting event. Yesterday, there was a report of 301,000 shad that came into the river. Thousand. It's going to be good, okay? So what I'm going to do today for this challenge is we're going to see which lure can catch more in 30 minutes, okay? So we're going to time it. With me, I have a bucket, my rod, a big net to hold the fish, and that's a tripod. And in my trunk, I have a big cooler filled with ice, and I also have a catch cooler back there. So we're going to try and fill up all these coolers either between today and tomorrow. I'm staying in Oregon overnight. Uh, just because I want to also fish tomorrow morning in case the bite's super epic. Uh, so I'm really excited. Let's get down there um, and I'll show you guys what I am using. I set up my net right here in the water. That's going to be basically like a little live well where I'm going to keep all the shad that I catch. Not that one. He's already dead. <laughs> That's where I'm going to keep most of my shad that I catch and then I'm going to transport them into the bucket and then bring them up to the car as the bucket fills up. So that's the plan. So this is the first of two setups. First setup we're using is actually gonna be the shad dart. I have my main line, which is probably like 10 pound fluorocarbon, down to a trip tri swivel with some pencil lead, maybe about half an ounce, three quarter ounce. And then some leader, about two to three feet down to this, which is a shad dart. I have this green, this green pattern. Um, if that doesn't work, I'm gonna switch over to the uh, orange and white. Before we start this challenge, guys, I just want to test it out, see if it's hot. And once we catch a fish or maybe two fish, then we're gonna start the challenge and see which will catch more in 30 minutes. And I'll show you guys the other lure uh, when it's time for the challenge to start. So let's see if we can catch one or how fast we can catch one rather. how many fish this dart catches and then in the next 30 minutes we're going to see how many fish the crappie jig catches and then we will be able to crown the best lure for shad.
fish number four, guys, for the chat. All right, let's get some more. incredibly hard to beat. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if we can beat that. I've never fished with the crappie jig before. Who knows? Maybe it's, I don't see, you know, nobody around here uses it. Maybe it could be either that it sucks or that nobody knows about it and they just don't change what they know it works. The question is, does the crappie jig, can we beat Took the grub off. I think that's gonna work. I think the profile is just too big with that grub on it. Oh no! Oh, it came off! <laughs> Hooks on this are just not sharp. This could be the demise of the crappie chicks or something. This is fish number one on the crappie chick. Nothing to write holes about. We got one. Shad number two for the crappie chick. Unfortunately, so I think that that about does it. All right, it appears we have a winner. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the winner, the Shad Dart. Kind of what I was expecting going into this video. We found out a crucial detail, maybe a little bit too late. The crappie jig with the grub tail on it was a little bit too big of a presentation for the Shad. As soon as we tied on the new leader and took off that grub, we started getting a ton of bites. Problem with this crappie jig here, and I just lost one. I'll show you guys one with the grub on it. The problem with this crappie jig here is this hook is garbage, absolute garbage. Like I could probably bend this with one hand, with one finger. Look at that. Ah, I hooked myself. Look at this, I can bend this absolutely awful with one finger. I think that that had a lot to do with how many fish we caught. If we had landed every fish that we hooked with the crappie jig, it would have been a much more interesting fight. I think it would have even been close. If not, the crappie jig might have even won. At any rate, the hook quality is a very important factor when it comes to how good of a lure something is to catch anything. That being said, congratulations to the Shad Dart. I had a fun time filming this video with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little challenge that I did. I know it's a little bit different than what I normally show you guys and fish with you guys. If you guys enjoyed this type of content, please let me know down in the description below. I would really be interested to know if you guys want to see more stuff like this. We can definitely do stuff like this once salmon season starts. The next video that I'm going to be posting after this video is going to be a salmon fishing video. If you guys want to see more challenges like that when it comes to salmon, Drop me a comment, let me know. I definitely want to do some really cool stuff with the salmon fishing this year. It's going to be epic. Stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.